Excise Commissioner has uh, yesterday started hearing this matter on the complaint filed by me against the illegal Silly Souls Bar and Restaurant at Asagaon, which is being uh, run by the family of Union Minister for Child and uh, Women Development, Srinitri Irani. The Excise Commissioner has uh, heard us on the matter. The Excise Commissioner has uh, framed two issues uh, to be decided by the uh, Excise Commissioner and he has uh, directed the uh, owners of the restaurant to file their written submissions on and, and has kept the matter for, for the next hearing on uh, uh, 22nd of August as the Excise Department is now busy with the Panchayat elections. And there was no restaurant when the license was given. So I pointed out all this and, and the fraudulent way in which the license has been uh, renewed in the name of a dead person. So all the documents from the court speak for itself and I'm sure the Excise Commissioner will, will decide uh, accordingly. Meanwhile, the other departments are also seized of the matter. The Director of Panchayats is uh, also seized of the matter because the Panchayat has now informed me that uh, no no permission was given for the construction of this restaurant. I have never said that the restaurant is in her name. I have said and I maintain what I say. The restaurant is being run by the family of Smriti Irani. The whole world knows this and that is a fact. So I have nowhere said that the license is in her name. The license is, was in the name of Mr. Anthony Gama, who has passed away. Now, one of the son has come today. The other son, because I have also pointed out, we need to know where the other son is. Although we know where he is, they have to come out with the truth and say where he is. Now, since the construction itself is illegal, and that is what the uh, Panchayat has uh, admitted publicly, okay, by giving me information on the RTI, that they have not given any licenses whatsoever. But more importantly, the Town and Country Planning Department, because of this land filling, that is a very serious issue. I have also pointed out to the Town and Country Planning Minister, Mr. Vishwajit Rane. I have drawn his attention. I filed a written complaint with the Chief Town Planner yesterday, and I am sure they will act. Okay. Written submissions were made to the Commissioner. There are several statements made in the, in the, in the, in the complaint. The authority has to narrow down that to certain specific issues and once you narrow down that to certain issues it becomes easy for determination as to who has to prove what and what are the issues that have to be decided. And so that's what it is kept for on the 22nd. And so what the status of the license, the new license once the fees are paid, license always continues. But the purchase, you must understand one thing that here we are governed under the Portuguese civil code. Once we are governed under the Portuguese civil code, the ownership of the property is jointly in the name of the husband and wife.